Hope you're doing awesome, guess what, I've been tinkering with something really cool lately, and I couldn't wait to tell you about it. So, you know how much I love experimenting with stuff, right? Well, this time I've dipped my toes into the world of perfume making, and it's been a total blast. I've been playing around with this crazy idea of creating our own signature scents using some everyday ingredients, ethanol, glaxolide, and sandanol. And let me tell you, the results have been pretty darn impressive. Basically, I've come up with this premixed compound that's like the perfect canvas for crafting all sorts of amazing perfumes. And get this, it's so simple to do, you won't believe it. First up, let's talk about ethanol. You can easily grab this from your local market, and it's typically made for perfume grade purposes. But here's the thing, ever noticed that some perfumes made at home end up with a slightly chemical smell? Yeah, it happens, and it's not exactly what we're going for. So, after chatting with folks in the perfume impression business, I realized the key to solving this issue lies in using quality and authentic ethanol. Trust me, it makes a world of difference. When you use top-notch ethanol, it ensures that the overall perfume blend has a lasting projection and doesn't stray into that chemical territory. In this video, we're tackling this challenge head-on. By creating a compound with ethanol as the base, along with other key ingredients, we're aiming to craft a perfume that's not just a good match for the original designer brands but also maintains that high-quality scent profile we all love. Remember, quality matters when it comes to perfume making. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get ready to create something truly exceptional. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your subscription ensures you won't miss any of our unique experiments. Alright, let's kick things off by introducing our first essential ingredient, ethanol. Check out this bottle right here. Now, we didn't just grab any old ethanol off the shelf at the local market. Nope, we made sure to get our hands on the good stuff, authentic and already tested. Ethanol is the backbone of our perfume compound. It's what gives our scents that smooth, consistent texture and ensures they last long after you've spritzed them on. Plus, it's super easy to get your hands on. Just head to your local market, and you'll find it chillin' on the shelves, ready to be part of your next fragrance masterpiece. Now, onto our second ingredient, sandanol. And guess what? I've already prepped it for us. Take a look at this bottle right here. I've carefully measured out 12 grams of sandanol and mixed it with 125 milliliters of distilled water. This step is crucial because it helps to ensure that our sandanol is perfectly integrated into our perfume compound, creating a harmonious blend of scents that will leave you swooning. Next up, let's talk about our third key ingredient, glaxolite. Check out this massive 1 kilogram bottle right here. Yep, that's right, I went all out to make sure we have more than enough to work with. Here's the deal. We're going to mix 12 grams of glaxolide into our compound, which already includes 125 milliliters of distilled water and 12 grams of our prepped sandanol. This magical concoction is going to be the secret sauce that makes our perfume truly unforgettable. A lot of friends and subscribers have been asking me about the best way to create a premixed compound for making accurate designer brand impressions. And you know what? I've got just the solution for you. By following the method we're exploring, today, you'll be well on your way to starting your very own perfumery business in no time. And here's the best part, it's not rocket science. All you need is our carefully crafted compound, along with your favorite designer brand perfumes. Simply mix in a bit of the perfume oil with our premixed compound, and voila you've got yourself a spot on impression of that coveted fragrance. I'm about to mix 12 grams of glaxolide into 125 milliliters of distilled water. Take a look 
everyone, as we mix the glaxolide into the distilled water, it's creating a mesmerizing array of bubbles, swirling and dancing in harmony. It's truly a sight to behold talk about satisfying. After this mixing, the compound will be thoroughly blended. Now, to make it even easier for you, feel free to use a mixer or any method that works best for you. Alright, now that we've got this mixture all blended up, it's time to take the next step. We'll carefully add it to 2.5 milliliters of ethanol, and then we'll be one step closer to creating our perfect perfume blend. Before we move forward, let me demonstrate something cool. I'll add a small quantity of ethanol to show you how it transforms the overall color. Watch closely, because once it meets with the ethanol, it creates this amazing milky hue. Isn't it fascinating? needs a little extra oomph or a specific note, feel free to add other fixatives like isoe super or lyral. Just adjust the quantity according to the notes you're aiming for. A general rule of thumb is to add them in around 1% of the total blend. Before we wrap up, I'd like to ask a favor. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Your support means the world to me. forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips, tricks, and fragrant adventures.